Hey guys, welcome to Mindy Illustrates. If you don't know me that well by now, <laughs> uh, you'll find out eventually that I'm a stickler for everything cozy and yeah, like coziness by the fireside. <laughs> and also storytelling and all these type of ideas, books and just getting lost in a book and kind of sometimes going into like into like an imaginary world and so this is partly why I really like the idea the concept behind what is now called Inktober and what uh, maybe I guess Jake Parker um, invented it maybe some other artists um, but yeah I'm pretty sure it was designed to help um, artists other like artists that are not familiar with with um, ink methods or drawing by hand that they can get practice in or also people that maybe have have been working a lot digitally and they just kind of need a break from from yeah looking at the screen and and they can kind of reconnect with with their handheld tools like paint brushes and and that they get to see the the watercolor spread on the paper, or the ink. Um, so yeah, of course I love Inktober for those reasons, and yeah, I wouldn't say it's so like relaxing for me. Uh, I would say I would say it's maybe more exciting. Yeah, it's like kind of like going on an adventure because I get to dive into a story or um, like maybe even a story that I made up and just create different creatures or, um, yeah, just kind of like some fantasy world. And it's just so much fun. So I, I, I usually just put on the music. Maybe I listen to, like, movie scores. And, yeah, you'll see, like, the little clip in the beginning of this video. Um, that was just me, like, putting on movie scores on on youtube and, and just like blasting it so that i can kind of get into the zone and yeah i feel like it really helps <laughs> um what do you do what do you do to get into your inktober mode or yeah like when you're doing something creative like to help you get into that world <laughs> um but it's funny because I don't actually really use, listen to music that much. But when I'm doing this, then I listen to movie scores. <laughs> so, anyways, um, what I used for this drawing was my inkwell. And, yeah, it's basically just... A little glass thing of ink and it's lasted me years so if you're like looking for something to help you I would suggest to get one of those oh speaking of the inkwell um so before I started inktober like I was kind of struggling to figure out how I would do shadowing because I didn't exactly want to do cross um cross sketching I don't know the exact terminology but yeah, well, basically when you use a pen and you just kind of make lines with a fine liner to create your shadowing. Or I didn't really want to use straight black ink also too. So when I got the when I got the inkwell, it kind of helped me to um, create shadowing. I'm still trying to control it, but um. Yeah, I'm just happy to be finding different techniques and um, different ways of drawing objects. And and so anyway, I used the inkwell and I used those, these pens that I got recently to do like the outline. So I use my, my, my old faithful Japanese pen that I've had for a couple years that I've been using. For, for a couple of years um, and then also I used 
um, I used these really small fine liner pens that I got recently. And yeah, of course, this is <laughs> Samwise and Sam from The Lord of the Rings. And um, oh gosh, I can't. <laughs> Schmeagol, the good side of, of this guy, Schmeagol. And they're talking about potatoes and fish. And I'll put the quote underneath. But yeah, it's like really was one of my favorite scenes from The Lord of the Rings. So thanks for coming along. Thanks for watching. And I hope you enjoyed it. So I hope you have a good uh, unification day if you're in Germany. And yeah, see you later.